Hi everyone, this is Dr. Hasse here. Um, today's topic is BOT 2313 lab um, midterm review, which is the first unit, which basically is labs one to five. Um, so again, just a few reminders. So make sure you study well in advance, break up your studying into small chunks to maximize effectiveness. Also keep up with your resources available to you, including your lab syllabus, um, readings, um, your drawings, your lab journal, notebook, um, models, and um, plan of the weeks, anything that actually covered up to uh, end of uh, end of this uh, mid midterm unit. So let's get started. Okay, so lab one is just introduction to plant plantae. Lab two is plant cells and tissues. Lab three is meristems growth and development. Lab four is root systems. And lab five is uh, shoot system, includes stem xylem and phloem. Okay, so first unit basically, if, if you remember from the lab one, which basically we talked about just introduction to especially angiosperms, and, and then one, a phylum, a two, a, two uh, unique and uh, unique uh, two unique uh, classes with monocotyacots and then we just compare several features of these two classes and how unique they are compared to each other right and make sure also you check your lab slides like the microscope slides that you draw and any plants that actually they were in the lab and plan of the week so as you see all the plan of the weeks are actually available to you and make sure that you know their um, scientific name and their class. Okay, so and we talked about also uh, terms like Rafflesia, like a large, the largest sized uh, single flower plant, autotrophs, plant statistics, plant overall the kingdom, and so the, how it compares to some other kingdoms, right? So plant uh, lab number two is plant cells and tissues. Um, basically, just basic parts of the cells, right? And cell types, including meristem, parenchyma, corenchyma, sclerenchyma, secondary walls, and then tissues, meristematic tissues, dermal uh, tissues, um, or some other types of like ground tissues we talked about. Um, so to make sure that you, you study those and review all your material. And lab slides, know about cells, organelles, especially organelles like chloroplast, cell wall, um, and vacuole, which are unique, right? So, and identify the organelles, and where is the nucleus, where is the plasma membrane, and then the, the drawings you did, elodia, potato, onion, uh, cells, make sure that you know the difference between them, Again, cell wall, chloroplast, vacuole, make sure that you can identify those, which is which. Right. Um, so lab number three was uh, meristems and growth development, which basically, it's specifically, um, um, this lab is designed for meristematic tissues. The, as you know now that they are like stem cells of plants, it means they don't know what they are gonna be when they grow up yet. So they are not specialized. That means they could be anything that makes them very unique. Um, so they are the regions where cells keep dividing and growing like apical meristems or apex, you know, the, the shoot tip and root tip. Um, and also there are some other meristems like dicots have lateral meristems that has extra xylem and phloem we call secondary growth. Um, and also there are other tissues, dermal um, vascular ground tissues make sure that you review all your lab, wet lab slides and plants and make sure you pay attention to stem leaf root be familiar with uh, labeling elodia shoot tip tunica two layers of tunica one layer of corpus under uh, typical meristem and make sure check check the plan of the week so lab number four was a root system uh, root system biology which basically the roots are underground part of the uh, plant um, and we know a little less about them because they are underground. It's a little harder to study 
but actually they are so so important because they are the, they do the interaction with the soil and a lot of um, things the plants take from the soil come through uh, the xylem and root system. So make sure you review all the lab slides. You make sure that you know true root, adventitious root, primary root, lateral root, where they originate from, what layers they come and originate from. Uh, so these are important and of the, of course, plan of the week four. And then plan number five is shoot system, including stem xylem phloem. So shoot uh, is general term for above ground parts, but just stem is just the axle, axle, which is basically, that means shoot is including stem, leaf, but node, internode, anything above ground. Okay, so um, shoot has uh, nodes, and then every node determines a seasonal growth up to that point, and the next takes up from there and continue from there. Um, and also we have xylem and phloem tubings inside the shoot system going through shoot stem and to the leaves, right? Um, and then distribute stuff. Um, and uh, you, we already studied that. Uh, we will have a spe specific lab on just um, leaf. So um, we will have a, a unique leaf lab later. So make sure that you review all your wet, wet lab slides, plants, um, know all your, if all about uh, xylem phloem, monocut versus dicuts and drawings labeling. So, and keep if, if to keep up with the new videos, make sure that you um, subscribe to this channel um, to get the new to get uh, new videos um, coming up uh, later as well. So, thanks for watching, and um, please feel free to uh, comment and also come by office hours if you have questions. See you next time. Take care. Happy studying. That's one video. No, H minus. H minus, okay.